Here are four building strategies to help you win more fights. Presented by Fortnite Master. This video explains four building strats meant to help you get the upper hand against skilled players. Keep in mind that these building strats are very situational, can be difficult to execute constantly, and may take a fair amount of practice to master. However, being able to execute them on the fly will significantly increase your odds of beating highly skilled enemies. Without wasting any time, let's get started. The first strategy is an interesting way to peek out of one by ones while barely exposing yourself. This is the most easily accessible strategy in this video. With a unique combination of edits, you can peek out of a small area in the upper corner of your one by one, allowing you to shoot unwitting opponents. This peek only exposes a small portion of your character in a place where most players won't think to look, making it a great tool to have. For this peak, you want to edit your stair in a U shape, then edit the bottom corner of the wall that touches the middle railing of your stair. No part of your body should be visible above the 1x1 while peeking, protecting you from getting shot by players from the side or behind. Just be aware that other players can also shoot you through the same small opening, so be wary of it if they seem like they see you. This peak works when shooting at a level or downward angle. There's a pretty small window to shoot through, but you can slightly adjust the angle by crouching, moving side to side, or standing on the lower portion of the stair. The type of material used for this peak matters too. With wood, it's much harder for the enemies to spot the small opening you're using to peak. With brick and metal, the opening is a little more apparent, so be cautious of this when using the strategy. The second strategy makes use of quick edits to provide some extra protection. When ramping up, placing a floor or cone and editing through is great for practicing at its speed and has a couple of advantages in real games. In general, this is a great way to practice quick edits. Ultimately, your goal should be to place a pyramid at every ramp and edit through seamlessly while running. If you can do this, you shouldn't have any problems using this strat in real games. Now for the situational uses and benefits. When pushing for high ground against an enemy, this strategy provides extra protection from above. In these situations, assuming the enemy is aware of your position, it's typically only possible to push one or two levels at a time. If the enemy is spraying down, stop and keep replacing your floors and pyramids until they have to reload, then edit through and continue ramping up. In build fights against other skilled players, this strategy is used to prevent them from trapping you with a cone or a floor. If you've ever seen a streamer or a pro player trap someone from below with a cone, this is how you counter that. By placing the cone above yourself, you prevent other players from being able to place one in the same spot and trap you. The third strategy uses pyramids too, but this time to trap other players while retaking high ground. If you've ever been in a build fight with skilled players, you know it's easy to lose high ground. Often, the go-to strat for retaking high ground is double ramping up to turn on them, with one ramp below and one ramp above you for added protection. When this happens, sometimes the enemy will try to keep high ground by running on top of your ramp and placing a floor or another ramp to block you. Now on to the actual strategy, coning while double ramping. In those situations when you're double ramping up, you can place a pyramid above a top ramp to trap anybody trying to follow you. By the time they react, it will most likely be too late because you've already secured the high ground. Our last strategy is good for quickly retaking high ground after getting blocked by a floor or a pyramid. Note that this strat is easy to mess up and risky if you're high enough to take fall damage, so practice in playground before trying it in a real game. Getting this strat right is all about jumping from the right spot and waiting for the peak jump height to place a floor underneath yourself. After you get the jump down, practice turning and building immediately to retake high ground from whoever's blocking you. The one problem with this strat is that you're vulnerable for a second after the jump and before you have a chance to turn and build. The solution is an even more advanced version of this strat where you can double ramp after making the first jump and avoid leaving yourself open at all. The more advanced version is even trickier than the original. After making the first jump, immediately place a ramp in the same spot when you're still looking down. This will build a ramp slightly behind you as well as in front, allowing you to double ramp up and turn around. This way, you can protect your back immediately after making the jump. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. On the right side of the screen, you can click one of the two videos if you want to watch more guides. On the left, hover over the Fortnite Master icon to subscribe to our channel. As well, make sure to click the bell so you don't miss any of our high quality guides. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.